millions of dollars to do a porn if he could have all the rights to it. I didn't. I offered you and Todd two hundred fifty thousand dollars each. Okay, whatever. It's not millions of dollars, okay. and you guys turned it down. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, when are you going to get that family channel going? You always talk about that. Krini, you're also the No, I do want a family channel eventually. Where do you yeah. see yourself in five years? I do want a family channel eventually. <laughs> <laughs> um, I see myself having family. In five years? Yeah, I want to be a stay-at-home mom. Really? Yeah. No, I want to like work, but I want to be able to like be home with my so kids. So in five years, you want to have kids? In five years, I'll be almost 30, yeah. That's not a long time. That's, that's right around the corner. Yeah, I know. Time ah. flies. Corinne's I mean, going to be good with kids. She was a nanny. 30. Exactly, 30. Um, I always thought that, like, when I was younger, I always thought, like, by 26, that's when I was going to, yeah, like, and then when you get meet older, my guy, mm -hmm. have a family. You totally still thing. could. You're 23. I know. I, like, could potentially, but just, just like, from growing up and being more mature and having, like, a different outlook on life, like, I don't know if I'd want that. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I guess it depends. Maybe if I'm the right person, then I'll be like, No, oh, I want kids at, like, 29 or, like, 30. Like, 29 and 30 latest. Yeah. I want kids around 49, 50. Yeah, Whoa. Your sperm will really, be Grandpa? Yeah. That's crazy. You're going to start then? I want to spread myself thin too early. Oh, man. You don't want to be chasing those kids around when you're 60. Yeah, it's going to be really hard. Corinna does this thing in the car where she'll say, like, the, the greatest stuff for the vlog. All the stuff will spill out of her mouth. Like, she'll really say, like, the funny, craziest thing in the car. Craziest things. And then we'll turn the camera on. And she's like, no, I can't. Cor where the camera's not on, Corinna goes, Corinna goes, I wish instead of rain, it was just cum falling out of the sky. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then I turned my camera on. And I was like, what did you just say? And she goes, no, 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 no. I yeah, but you guys act like I didn't let you put in the vlog the time where I told you that I wanted, like, six guys to come on top of me she she did say that once and she let me put in that vlog and i appreciate and it wasn't it. that it was like yesterday did you, guys you know, like tried to refilm it like eight fucking times and i didn't know what you wanted i'm already that was definitely weird when i first started hanging out with david when he took me to his parents house and his parents were in florida yeah my parent yeah that was awkward we went to we went to my parents house and my parents were out of town and i brought jason over and i told them like I told my parents, I'm like, Jason's staying over. And they were really weirded out because they've never met Jason. And all they saw was like 10 videos of him. And he He's was 45. 45. They thought. You were gay? They, yeah. They, they thought he, I was fucking him. It took my parents a while to say yes. And then. And I would have thought the same thing. Yeah. They, they, when they finally said yes, my dad prefaced it with, just don't go in our room. Okay. <laughs> so it was like. It was, Can you imagine you it was almost and a 45 year old like man going into your parents' yeah, room? Yeah. It was almost like him giving up and being like, okay. If this is what my son wants. Just don't, go just don't fuck room. him in our room. <laughs> um, I felt like that's kind of what my parents thought. But you no, should I, ask him now if he thought you were gay at the time. No, it's not that he. I, I don't know. I don't know. Who knows what they thought? I would have had my suspicions. If it makes you feel better, Jason, I slept at David's house too once. Yeah, I'm he sure showed they me were his guinea pigs. <laughs> I turned his dad, gave him a high five. Oh yeah, the Corinna, door. <laughs> Corinna slept over once when we when we still lived in Chicago. Yeah, but it, she slept in. A, that's the the first day I met her. Corinna slept over. And he why? showed me his you, guinea pigs. You live like 20 minutes away. No. Um, I don't know. I don't know why. But my my parents weren't home, so I let her sleep over. But she slept in my sister's room. Uh, and I honestly, we hit it off. Not in like a sexual way, but as like friends, I feel like that's why I slept over. Yeah. We were just like, oh, yeah, we're having a fun time. Like, let's sleep over. And she slept but, like, in we... my sister's room, and I went next door I think to my I was room. bummed, though, because I think I wanted to not sleep in your sister's room. Yeah, I mean, I, I would imagine it's like... I, I remember when I first met Corinna, like, David, like, picked me up in the Tesla, and, like, we were riding around, and then we picked you up, and then you got in the back seat, and Dom was in the back seat, and I was, like, looking at you and Dom, and then I looked at myself, and I was like, oh, wow, he's assembling, like, a bunch of, like, uh, archetypes here. <laughs> <laughs> He's got like the fucking weed smoker, the old washed up comedian, and then the hot ditzy fucking slut. <laughs> and I was like, oh, wow, this is going to work. That was the first time we all hung out. Yeah, it was definitely the, one of the first times I met Krinner because I remember you were in the backseat of the Tesla just fucking talking your mouth off. You were like, you were like, talking a mile a minute. Well, I remember when you came into the group, I was kind of like, oh, I don't know. Like, and then we would all make jokes. Like, it you was kind of serious, but kind of joking, like, oh, yeah, he's replaced all of us. And like, I was like, oh, I don't know about this guy. Like, who is this guy? Oh, yeah. I remember, I remember people you know. were jealous at first because I was filming with you so much. Yeah. Oh, no, really? Seriously. Yeah. Are you going to film with Jason? People were jealous? Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, everybody. I mean, really? I only even say yeah myself. Oh, I never feel like that. 
I always feel like no, obviously not anymore. But when first we're like, oh, who's this new guy? Like, why is he getting all this? Now they're more happy that I don't drag him as many places as I drag you. Yeah, Corinna, are, is sex with musicians better than sex with regular people? Why do you always choose DJs over civilians? Okay, that's just it was a coincidence, and it was only coincidence two. four times. It was two, <laughs> three, whatever. That's one fucking hell of a. It was three. It was three. Well, one was like a low key DJ. The other two were. Oh, don't do that to him. About I you, mean, he's, he's a big he's DJ. Not. He's not. Are there songs about you out there? Hell no, I wish. I'm Are you sure? Cool. Yeah, 100%. Justin Bieber Baby. It's about Corinne. <laughs> True. You didn't know? True. No. And then um, Paris by Chase Walkers. I will say that I, I was with one DJ and he was very freaky and I feel like DJs are freaky and foreign and they like anal and that was great. Other than that, I was about it. Well, you really narrowed it down by saying foreign. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. They're all foreign. Corinne, thank you for being a guest on the podcast. Thank you. You're always a friend of the show. We'd always love to have you come out. I'll come back next time. A and friend talk of the about, show. Uh, I love good job, Karina. Look, at I'm sitting here on the couch right now, and David and Karina are next to each other. They're actually a really cute couple. You know? No, I could never, ever, ever. Well, you kind of, you kind of, you kind of provide each other what lying. each other don't. I'm not have. lying. No, David, listen I'm not to lying. me, Karina. I could not. I'll be honest. I'm your friend, mm -hmm. and you you get hungry maybe seven times a day and it's so, so fucking does Natalie and she's your assistant yeah but she fucking gets food for herself Corinna we'll be sitting on the couch all I hear from the corner of the room is I'm hungry <laughs> okay I can work on it David so no and it fucking drives who me who wants buffalo wild wings it drives me nuts Corinna drives me nuts and the, and the worst part is is like we'll be like completely like out of the way driving somewhere and like Corinna will want to get food and it's like I mean Corinna uh, I see I'm already so mad high no. maintenance Okay, I, w I do want to say that you that are high maintenance. You've told me this before, and I've actually tried to work on it. Have you noticed this recently? Yes, I said I was hungry today, but so did everybody else in the room. <laughs> and I know you fucking said Karina, that, Carly. If, if David were to give you a shot and date you, could you curb your appetite? Yes. You are very high maintenance. I am not high maintenance. Would you work on it? Would you be able to work on your high maintenance ness? I'm not high maintenance. I really don't think I'm high maintenance at all. High maintenance in like what way? David, let's just for the podcast, let's let's imagine a world where you guys are dating. What, okay. would, what would it be like? What would it be like? Yeah. Low jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Ass eating. Well, I would I would say that my 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 ass would be a lot cleaner than normal. That's for sure. <laughs> I would. It wouldn't work. It wouldn't work. I, I think you. I think you give each other stuff that you don't have. Like Corinna. Like David's like a very uh, driven with his job. He knows exactly what he wants. And David Corinna's hot, and you're no, not. No, Corinna. <laughs> you know, I have thought about this, and there's a, there's one reason why me and David's relationship wouldn't work. One. I can this name is this is 30. this is one in my mind. Everything else is great. I'm utterly in love. With my dog. Oh, and David yo, is that's to crazy. Carl, and yeah. I literally, I thought about this, like not with David, but just in general. If any one of my boyfriends, no matter how much I was in love with them, was allergic I to love, my dog and couldn't be around him, I literally could not date that guy the because fact that I you, love the my fact dog. That you've t thought about us being together no, recently because no, no, your dog's pretty recent. The, the fact that you've thought about it, but I've you're had like, it for a year. oh, we can't because. Mm. Carl. <laughs> like, when, you, when you got Carl, the day you took him, we were like, well, this will cement everything with David. This is, <laughs> I'm closing the door here. 